Greetings from Southwest Rocks, Australia. I take as my topic the reverse of the conference title, How Zen Became Chan. Rather, I want to answer the question why it is common to use Zen for Chinese Chan, Korean Son and Vietnamese Tien, as well as Japanese Zen. Initially, I thought the answer would be simple, that it was because the Japanese modernized Buddhism, including Zen, presenting in Zen in a form more congenial to Western Protestant tastes before any other Asian, East Asian country had done so, and the form that that took was Zen Gaku. However, while that answer is correct, there are complicating factors. For example, Western missionaries, the people most invested in writing about Buddhism, even if motivated uh, by obtaining information on rivals, were present in Chinese ports from 1840 after China's defeat in the Opium War. In contrast, it was not until 1861 that Christian missionaries were permitted to enter Japan, yet the missionaries and others in China, with the one exception of Joseph Edkins in 1880, made no substantial or substantiated notices of Chan. The reasons for this lack were several at least. First was the apparent decay of Buddhism in China and the lack of sectarian Chan consciousness among Chinese monks. Second was the negative evaluation of the national character of the Chinese made by Westerners in the 1890s, which discouraged any positive evaluation of Chinese Buddhism. Third is the fact that the Chinese, unlike the Japanese, did not try to present Chan to Westerners via publications in European languages. Chinese also did not write about Chan in Chinese in a way to conform to Western Protestant expectations about what a religion should be. Again, before the mid-1880s, Korea was largely closed to foreigners. And after 1910, Korea was under Japanese domination. And Westerners mostly saw Korean Buddhism via the distorting lens of Japanese colonialism, including a negative evaluation of the Korean national character. Zen thus came to the notice of Westerners before Chan and Son did, because the Japanese published material about Zen in English long before Chinese or Koreans did about Chan and Son. Reports about Chan and Son were made initially by Western missionaries. Reports about Zen were made by Zen monks and laymen, mostly belonging to Soto Zen organizations. This was largely due to the fact that Japanese Zen was institutionally much stronger than Chan or Son were at this time, in other words, the 1870s through to 1930. This estimation of mine is clear from the reports on the decay and weakness of Buddhism published about uh, China, Korea and Japan. While such reports were exaggerated, both by Christian missionaries and Buddhist reformers, as revisionist historians have suggested, there was definite evidence of a decline uh, in Chinese and, and Korean Buddhism when Westerners were first able to observe the conditions of the religion from the 1840s onwards. In fact, Chan went virtually unnoticed in such reports, with the exception again of Edkins, and Son was seen as only a minor element in Korean Buddhism. After the initial shocks of attempts by the new Meiji government to eradicate Buddhism and separate monasteries from their parishioners in the period 1868 to about 1875, Japanese Buddhists rallied, forming nationwide associations. Schools had evolved into universities, newspapers and even publishing companies. About a decade later, in the mid-1880s, Japanese Buddhists worked to counter the influxes of Christianity by writing defences of Buddhism and attacks on Christianity. Soto Zen, in particular, was one of the leading participants in this organisational and apologetic trend. No such successful long-term Buddhist organisations or schools 
were created in China until the 20, 1920s, although they were publishing houses, mostly reproducing old Yogacara, Huayan and Pure Land texts, but not Chan texts mostly. Leading Chinese Buddhist intellectuals were mostly attracted to Yogacara and hostile to Chan. In Korea, Son did not start to organise until the monks were provoked by Japanese Soto Zen intervention in 1910 and 1911 and the monks formed a minority MJ of Lin, Linji Son Association to oppose Japanese colonial uh, <coughs> Buddhism. In order to preserve some autonomy in 1921 this Son minority formed a monastery disguised as an academy in an attempt to restore the correct Dharma, in other words, the traditional son of Korea. Mostly looking inwards to domestic concerns, the Chinese and Koreans made no attempt to explain Chan and Son to foreign audiences, so they were mostly ignored. The means by which Japanese Buddhists were able to promote Zen to domestic and foreign audiences is summed up in the term Zen Gaku, which had two meanings. The older meaning was San Zen Gaku Do, to consult about meditation practice and to practice the way in a systematic fashion informed by teachers and doctrines. The latter meaning of Zen Gaku was research into Zen via philological methods, that is, scholarship on Zen. This latter notion arose in the context of rapid acceptance by Japanese of Western intel educational and scholarly concepts. Such concepts as religion, philosophy, science and psychology were adopted by Japanese from the 1860s. Uh, the latest scientific developments of the West were reported in Japanese translation very soon after such reports were published in the West, including uh, English, French and German scholarship. Soto Zen was one of the largest organizations that adapted to these new developments. Most of the poli Meiji political policies on religion and the newly imported Western ideas. The other major Buddhist group that responded was Jodo Shinshu, uh, who were even more enthusiastic in trying to proselytize overseas, including in China, even establishing a Buddhist uh, propagation society, the Kai Gai Senkyo Kai, uh, literally Overseas Propagation Society or Buddhist Society, in 1886, which published some Buddhist texts in English. The first moves towards Zengaku were made by Haratanzan, uh, a Soto Zen monk who became interested in the question of how Zen practice and enlightenment could be related to Western theories of neurophysiology. This was prompted by a question posed by a Rangaku, in other words, Dutch studies physician in the 1850s about where the mind is located in the body, here or here. Uh, Hara thought that Western theories could verify the Buddhist psychology of the eight Vishnyanas as described in the Dashan Chishin Lun, the awakening of faith. Hara realized that Western science was based on experiment and to justify Zen, he thought he had to investigate Zen via experiment and In 1879, Hara was appointed to the precursor of Tokyo University as a lecturer on Buddhism. His course was entitled Indian Philosophy, note that philosophy, but the content was an exposition of the awakening of faith. His audience included important intellectuals and politicians, including the Minister of Education, and the lectures under the heading of philosophy were informed by some Western notions of philosophy, religion and science. Hara also advocated scholarship, gaku or gakumon, in preference to doctrine and teachings, cure, which is one of the prob probable reasons why his followers use Zen gaku rather than Zen cure or Zen di or Zen shu, etc. Hara concluded in 1886 that Zen was a philosophy rather than a religion, a philosophy of the mind nature. The first attempt to define Zen Gaku was made in 1884 by Ochi Seiran, Hara's disciple. 
Ouchi was a founder of Soto Associations, a journalist and a publisher. He wrote Zen Gaku Numon, an introduction to Zen studies, uh, stating that Zen or Dhyana was the most important of the three trainings, the Sun Gaku, the Dhyana, Prajna and Shila. Zen Gaku was the polishing of the one mind to discover one's true nature and therefore to be enlightened. This book ignited a Zen Gaku boom. Uh, I've counted 45 books published between 1884 and 1930 with Zen Gaku in the title and there are many more in chapter headings and so forth with Zen Gaku in them. Zen Gaku became more philological after 1884 works on the Zen lexicon became, were increasingly published from 1891. These later became Zen dictionaries. Around the same time, an awareness of the history, as distinct from legend, of Zen appeared. By 1907, Aizawa Eikai's Zengaku Yokan was published. It contained a dictionary, a brief history of Chan and Zen, plus genealogical tables, lists of Japanese monasteries and their abbots. This handbook is still useful today. Also appearing in 1907 was Nukaria Kaiten's, uh, Kaiten's Hihan Kaisetsu Zengaku Shinron, a critical, a critical explanation, a new treatise on Zengaku, which added a philosophical justification for Zen practice, using evidence from science in particular to bolster his case. Nukaria was also responsible for the most comprehensive and detailed history of Chan in China ever published. It was published in two volumes, 1923 and 1925. He also wrote a history of Son in Korea in 1930. Again, it's a foundational work. Zengaku not only concerned itself with history, lexicography and philosophy, but also with research methodology, which was the prime focus of Okada Giho's 1931 Zengaku Kenkyu Hōto Sono Shiryo, the research methodology of Zengaku and its source materials. While these books were written by scholars affiliated with Soto Zen, one of the most popular books was written by the later Dean of Science of Kyoto University, Chikashiki Masumi, uh, who was famous for uh, describing the atomic weight of tellurium. His Zen Gaku Ron of, 1890, uh, of 1904 used logic, philosophy and above all science to demonstrate the superiority of Zen Gaku as a method of understanding the universe and obtaining peace of mind. Anjin he called it. Zen Gaku then was one response to the expectations produced by the influence of Western ideas about religion, philosophy, science, psychology, and even history. In particular, Zen Gaku adopted, adapted to Protestant expectations of what a religion should be, that a matter of individual faith and consciousness and conscience, untrammeled by the interventions of ritual and ecclesiastical superiority, having an, in, having an historical founder, hence the focus on Bodhidharma in Zengaku, and a canon that should be studied philologically, uh, hence the need for Zen dictionaries. This had a particularly Victorian flavour in that religion should be rational, as in rational Christianity, uh, a Victorian successor to deism that was a result of attempts to reconcile Christianity and science. Uh, <clears throat> that religion should be like a philosophy and that male believers in particular should adhere to a code of chivalry which in Victorian terms meant to be resilient, brave, manly and jingoistic and so on. Uh, these were the values of a British colonialist. Zengaku responded to this latter by adopting reason and bushido, the newly invented way of the warrior, as much European chivalry as Japanese martial arts tradition. The leader in promoting this Zengaku vision to the West was Nukaria Kaiten, whose 1913 The Religion of the Samurai was the earliest book-length source on Zen available to Western audiences. 
Nukaria had previously published English translations of selected abstracts from Dogen's Shuwa Genzo and a full translation of Dogen's Zazengi in 1896. The religion of the samurai also included translations of the Ten Ox Herding Pictures and Zhong Mei Xuan Ren Lun. Thus, with the exception of a few impressionistic articles by D.T. Suzuki in the Eastern Buddhist, a journal published by the Shinshu Otani University and not by a Zen publisher, and a brief article of 1916 in the Journal of the Pali Tech Society, it was chiefly Nukaria who provided the most comprehensive information on Zen to Western readers before Suzuki published his first Essays in Zen Buddhism in 1927. That Zengaku arose in Japan and not a Chan Shui in China or a Sonak in Korea was due primarily to the philological works by Mujaku Dōju, uh, 1653 to 1745, that informed much of Zengaku. Mujaku's work was unmatched in China or Korea. Mujaku was part of a wider epistemological break with the past that arose in 17th century Japan and was different in some qualities from the limited Kaojong, the evidential scholarship of Qing Dynasty China and the Shilak, the realistic studies of Korea. The work by Mujaku not only influenced Meiji Zengaku scholars but also contributed greatly to post-World War II Zengaku in the form of the Zengaku Daiji Ten and to Zengaku and Chan and Son studies more broadly. This post-war scholarship is in some senses a return to Meiji Zengaku by bypassing the more romantic, semi-mystical, transcendental Zen of D.T. Suzuki and his followers that was greatly informed by Theosophy and the American transcendental poets, among others. Zen Gaku is the foundation stone of modern scholarship on Zen, Chan and even Son, and not the Zen of D.T. Suzuki. Zen Gaku has led on to the studies of Dunhuang manuscripts and hence Chan. Thank you.